In this video, we're going to explore the world of data modeling and help you understand what it is, how it works, and why it's so important. So, if you're interested in learning about the backbone of all your favorite websites and apps, then stick around. So, let's start with the basics. What exactly is data modeling? Well, at its core, data modeling is the process of creating a visual representation of a database. Essentially, it's a way of organizing and structuring data so that it can be easily accessed, analyzed, and manipulated. But why is data modeling so important? Well, think about all the websites and apps you use on a daily basis. From social media to online shopping, everything you do online involves data in some way. And that data needs to be organized and structured in a way that makes sense. To give you an example, let's say you're shopping online for a new pair of shoes. The website you're on has a database of all their available shoes, and that database needs to be organized in a way that makes it easy for you to find the exact pair of shoes you're looking for. That's where data modeling comes in. The website's developers have created a data model that organizes all the shoes by brand, size, color, and style, making it easy for you to filter and find the perfect pair of shoes. So, how do you actually create a data model? Well, it's a multi-step process that involves a lot of planning and collaboration. First, you need to identify the data that needs to be stored and the relationships between that data. This is typically done through brainstorming sessions and discussions with stakeholders. Once you've identified the data and relationships, you'll create a conceptual data model. This is a high-level representation of the database that shows the entities and the relationships between those entities. Next, you'll create a logical data model. This is a more detailed representation of the database that includes things like attributes and keys. Finally, you'll create a physical data model, which is a detailed blueprint of the actual database structure. This includes things like data types, indexes, and constraints. Of course, creating a data model isn't something you can do on your own with just a pencil and paper. Luckily, there are a ton of great tools out there that can help you create and manage data models. Some popular ones include ER Studio, Power Designer, and LucidChart. And there you have it. A brief overview of data modeling and why it's so important. Whether you're a developer, a data analyst, or just someone who loves using websites and apps, understanding data modeling is crucial to making sense of the data that powers the digital world. So next time you're browsing your favorite online store, take a moment to appreciate the data model that makes it all possible. Thanks for watching.